So hi, welcome to the Nice Podcast with Carl from Viridian. We're going to ask him some questions today. I'm going to start. Uh, so what inspired you to start the project, and what does the band name mean? Oh, uh, wow. Uh, so Dom and I started the project back in 2017, turning to 2018. Um, I was living in Ohio for a little bit, and I had moved home and kind of both were doing nothing uh when it came to music so we kind of just were like yo let's uh let's do something again like i'm back around like it's it's meant to be like let's just do it yeah so um we got back together again with some other homies that we had always played music with that lived in the area uh right in jackson with dom and uh one thing led to another you know we got our first lineup and we were thinking about the band name and nerd is the wrong term nowadays uh, <laughs> but we all love our video games we love pokemon we love our old school stuff so viridian city from pokemon is what actually uh inspired we just changed the lettering around so instead of v-e-r we did v-i-r okay. uh, spice it up a little bit so it doesn't like look like a complete ripoff but yeah pokemon is the answer 100 percent. we okay. love our pokemon. so um okay. uh, yeah, Dom and I just got back together and did our thing, found friends. One thing led to another, and uh, yeah, here we are. All right. <laughs> Very cool. Solid. No cease and Solid. desist from Pokemon because you changed the lettering. Literally. So That's no. Uh, so when this comes out, and for some reason, if Pokemon or the corporation hears that, um, sorry. No, you didn't. Sorry. No, you didn't. Heart <laughs> emoji. <laughs> All right. So. Okay. Um, so congrats on your upcoming single, Kinetic. How do you felt the response to it so far to the people you've shown it to since at the time of recording, it isn't out yet? It isn't. Um, so isn't. out of the people that we've sent it to so far, like our, you know, our close friends and um, other people along the way, um, it's been pretty good so far, I would say. You know, we haven't put out a song since misery peak um i mean mm -hmm. it seemed only like pretty recent but kinetic oh it's been a long time coming the song itself um so it's crazy to get it out and see like our friends and even like people on the internet that haven't heard it yet um seems like people are stoked i mean i don't want to be biased uh but yeah I, I really think so far it's been pretty pretty cool did you guys listen to it we did. I did. That is yeah. why I asked for it. And I liked mm -hmm. it a lot. Yeah, I was going to ask you to let me know what you thought, but I, you know, I figured we were going to talk anyway. So yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I liked yeah, it a lot. It, thank you. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. The crazy song. It's weird for us, kind of. <laughs> it was definitely interesting, different than the rest of the discography, but it's. I don't want to say it doesn't fit, but it's just like a revamp of like old sounds and like a little sliver of some new. Yeah, I wasn't um, expecting it when I listened to it. So yeah, I, that's good. I guess I'm fine yeah. with that. All right. Uh, um, I always ramble on, so you guys got to stop me before I just keep talking like crazy. Okay, so then, uh, <laughs> what was your writing process like for the song? Um, so it, it was kind of similar to the rest of our processes. I mean, um, I I'm like the main songwriter, so it starts with me. Uh, just write in on a laptop i just write my riffs write the songs and then i show the guys the guys kind of say their input tell me if it sucks or it doesn't suck or change something up and blah 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 um and then once that process goes back and forth a couple times we pretty much have the idea um so i kind of said a second ago you know kinetic's been a long time coming um when i was on tour with my other band at the time extortionist um I had wrote the song on a program called Tabit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a program for guitars and, and music. Um, you just press numbers. So not having my physical guitar and like recording set up on the road um, and like that, I kind of wrote the song just on a whim with no guitar in my hand. And um, that's like the bare bones of what you hear in Kinetic. But mm -hmm. extra time around, I kind of sat on it for a couple more weeks. Um, after the song was written and recorded this new time around. Um, and I just was literally at Dom's house one day, like 
I think he was sleeping or something like that. He was like really tired from work mm-hmm. and I was hanging outside his house. Like we were supposed to jam and he was like, nah, I want to take a nap. And I was like, all right, well, I came all the way here. I'm going to do something. So I sat on the computer and just put layers on top of layers for the song, just synths and pads and noises and effects and just all these weird random things just to add more depth to the song. Um, so mm-hmm. this was a little, little different from the rest, but overall, um, when it comes to the band aspect and how we write together, it's usually all just the same. It goes from me to Dom, Dom will do his thing. And then our new guy, Carlos, he'll pop his ideas in, he'll do his lyrics, he'll do melodies, he'll do everything, but we all do it as a group too. So it's, um, pretty cool honestly just the vibe that we have the way we do it so it's pretty much been the same though the whole time uh from the start of the day okay yeah cool so can you tell me where your headspace was while creating this thing um i mean so it's weird uh it, it got a mixture of good and bad i guess you know being on the road uh with a new group of friends and a new band at the time it was awesome i loved writing the song um and then you know taking so long to track it um do all the guitars and all the new stuff just how life happens sometimes just a lot of obstacles to get us to to finalizing the song but um it ended up catching the tail end of like the sad times and like the weird headspace for me so it was definitely a combination of good and bad when it was being written um but the song itself is generally good so it's kind of it gets a little sliver of everything good and bad i guess all right. it's all over the place <laughs> answer good <Yeah>. and bad. <laughs> uh so what band or artist influences do you think you can hear the most on this track then um i always say it. it's my my street go-to um i love north lane that's my favorite band so that's 100 percent what i would say mm-hmm. it's old school north lane like like the roots of their band like i love their new stuff don't get me wrong that's like my favorite record alien but um their og stuff with like singularity like the really fast techie riffs but also that like gent kind of guitar tone mm-hmm. uh, they're definitely north lane definitely kingdom of giants uh shout out johnny because johnny's on the song johnny kills it um so definitely their style a little bit nonchalantly like i love their music and when they put out their newest record, I was like, damn, dude, this literally sounds just like our stuff that we're doing now. It's crazy. So, um, yeah, definitely Kingdom of Giants and um, some of Suga in there, too. We like our uh, our techie stuff, our prog side. Um, I, yeah, I'll definitely call those three for sure were my All right. I actually want to ask how that feature came about then. So there's... I don't want to start it this way because I don't want it to seem that it, we use this. So there's a website called Featured X. Okay. Mm-hmm. Heard of this. Uh, but we didn't use him on that. So I had seen that Johnny was available on that. And Johnny and I have conversated over the years just like on Instagram and stuff like, yo, your guy's shit sick. Like, this is dope. Like, me being a fan. But then obviously just talking, you know, we became cool. Um, and then I was like, yo, this is sick. Like, I'm definitely going to have to hit you up for this. And he was like, on the side, he was like, yeah, um, dude, Featured X is rad, but like, you're a homie. So I'm not going to give you the, you know, the crazy full price, mm-hmm. uh, the homie price. And I was like, awesome, sweet. So I, on a whim, without even telling the guys in the band, I was like, oh. I want my song. This is, oh, oh, am I allowed to curse on yeah. here? Sorry. Yeah. I was like, this is fucking awesome. I want this guy on my damn song. Uh, always loved the dude's voice. Uh, he was in a band called Reformers before and always was about, I don't even know if his voice was on it, but he was in that band and I loved the clean singer and I was like, that's definitely Johnny. Whether it was him or not, I always wanted to <laughs> thing. Um, so we just talked. I sent him the song. He did something random. I didn't send him lyrics until after he had sent the song back. He did something like really rough and I was like, dude, this is fucking it, man. Like, holy shit. Yeah. First, I was like, I am sold. This is awesome. And I'm like, all right, boys. So I might have done something on the side. I know you're going to love it. Don't be upset, though. But here's Johnny Reeves on our song. I reached out to did it. 
and mm -hmm. uh, the boys were stoked. So finished the process with Johnny and um, literally it was the, the most smooth process possible. Johnny is the boy and he did his stuff. He killed it. Um, and now we, you know, we're still in contact. We, you know, just conversating like random, like we didn't even do business together, you know, just like we're friends. So it's really, really yeah. cool. That's so it worked out yeah. both parties. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's super sick. I love that. I mean, cool. I guess part of that I can say now, if this will be out um, in that time, he did the video shoot, but not with us, um, mm -hmm. California, because that's where he's located. So he shot his video scene over there and sent it to us. So he's going to be in the video technically, or he's oh. in. Yeah. Uh, uh, so it's it's fucking sick that he's in it and like not just like a voice, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's Pretty awesome cool that he went all the way with it. Yeah. Yes. You will That's see really cool. Thirteenth, yeah. Video will be out. Mhm. Mm Solid. Uh, so this question should be like super super fast. Off the top of your head, I want you to describe this song in three words. Oh, you cannot do it like that. I'm in sorry. Three words. Oh. Three words. All right, you said fast. All right. You yeah. Do I'm gonna take forever to do it. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna say fast, aggressive, and detune. Alright. Wonderful. <laughs> Those are cool. Alright. Solid. Uh so is there a certain feeling you want your listeners to have while listening to the single? Um an open An open mind. Like, um I don't know, like the kind of route that I, I've been taking I I don't wanna go crazy with the topic but um i just been trying to write music i'm not trying to write a genre border or anything i just want you to listen to the music and be like wow this is crazy mm -hmm. i don't want you to be like you know this isn't viridian or this isn't heavy or oh this is weird there's synth on it or oh there's this weird vocal sample in here like i just want you to hear it and enjoy it yeah wonderful that's it mm-hmm so, is this single leading up to anything bigger? An EP, album, maybe? What are we talking about? Um, uh, I mean, I, I guess I could maybe say a little bit, but... Okay. Got some more stuff coming out. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I'll say sooner than later, like, uh, after this single, obviously, um we're gearing up to go to the studio in December to do some Ooh. more. Um, more will come of that um, mm -hmm. in the for sure. But we've lined up some sick things behind the scenes that we just kind of have to kink out and work out on our end. But we're just trying to get music out, you know, obviously during the times right now. Can't play shows, so we're trying to stay active. So we're just trying to get songs out as quickly and as consistently as possible so to answer the question in shorter words more things are coming yes yes that solid looking forward to it thank uh, you so where do you see the band in the next five years in the next five years i mm -hmm. see just growth um just staying humble, sticking to our roots, and just remembering what we're doing and why we're doing it, and uh, just keep on trucking. I, I, that's what I think we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep on trucking, no matter what is in our way. We're just gonna push right through it, and nothing. Excuse me. Uh, nothing stopped Dom and I at this point. We've been going strong for a while when it comes to playing music and uh, doing all this stuff together. So. We will still be doing this, but hopefully at a better, better level. <laughs> yeah. yeah, solid. So for the last couple of questions, we're actually going to shift away from music, if that's okay with you. Totally fine. Sick. So we're going to go straight to death row then. Boom. Ooh. So if you're on death row, what would your last meal be with a drink? Triple, quadruple, mega boom. Oh my god. That was a big... That's a big boom. Mm-hmm. Uh, death row. You said a drink included too. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Meal and a drink. Meal and a drink. All right. So right off the get go, my drink choice has got to be a Baja Blast. Mm -hmm. 
out of the not out of like a bottle because I know they sell the bottles. Like I want it with so much fucking ice, the largest <laughs> possible at Taco Bell, mm-hmm. right? At, just Baja Blast for sure. Yeah. And meal. I'm really weird, and I know some people would probably say some like crazy shit, but I mm-hmm. honestly look for like a nice chicken pot pie. Mm-hmm. Like just pot pie. homemade from like. It's my mom's house, just nice fucking home style chicken pot pie. Mm-hmm. Solid. Nothing, nothing less, just huge chicken pot pie, and I'd be so satisfied. All right. Awesome. Um, so, if you could live in one fiction world for a week, where would you live? Oh my gosh, this is another weird. Room. I'm sure people would say something crazy, but I'm going. With Diddy, send me to Batman. Oh my god, I thought you would have said Pokemon. Nope. See. I love Pokemon, but I'm more I'm more comic heavy. I love me my Batman. It's my favorite. So I, I would go right to Gotham City for sure. All right. Okay. Dom, okay. Dude, Dom's just as much of a Batman nut as I am. Like mm-hmm. in- <laughs> well, All right. So you'd both be there, Gotham. A hundred and ten percent. I mean, I don't know where his his brain would be at, but that that would be my answer for sure. Mm-hmm. All right. Solid. So, I have the honor of asking the last question. Every single person we've spoken to has said it's the most important question. What's oh. your favorite color? Oh my gosh, that is the most important question. We don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> when I was young, it was always red. I was I would stand Taste. by red and then I die. Red. But I've definitely noticed my eye has changed when it comes to color. So I've been very heavy with my blues lately. Mm-hmm. Blue is that, blue is where my heart is right now for sure. Hell and okay. like with that though is the thing, my color changes per what I'm going through and how I am currently. I feel like mm-hmm. and I've been blue for a while, you know. Yeah. So right. blue's the vibe. All right. Blue, solid. Um, so as Gloria said, that's all the questions we have to say. Is there anything that you would like to plug? Um, what I would like to plug, uh, we have Kinetic that will be out already at this time. Uh, thanks Johnny Reeves for being on the song. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be premiered on Dreambound. It'll be on Spotify, um, all streaming platforms. Shout out to you two for having me answer some questions. Um, wasn't there the last time but i'm here this time <laughs> mm-hmm. um thank you for having me seriously um shout out to great wolf supply too because they ho- hook up the shirts um and orms b guitars because i love playing their guitars all right it's all right. uh well thank you for sitting out with us this has been carl from viridian and we're the good nice podcast